No, 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 no. Here. Set. Booyah. All right, welcome to Steadiness Intro. It's Bob from Lone Duck, and we've got Wolfie, the eight, close to nine month old black Labrador retriever. Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple different tips and tricks on how to develop more steadiness. We did the intro drill where I've got a check cord and I throw a bumper behind me. He's played that game, he kinda understands that game. It's time to start developing steadiness here at the line. So I've got some tools of the trade, right? He's got his e-collar on. Right now he's got the 1820 by DT um, right here. We've got a steady tab. We've got our easy lead and I've got a healing stick, okay? So a healing stick is nothing more than just a tap on the behind. Um, the way I look at it is the art of breaking means the dog stands up. The infraction is butt came off the ground. So these kind of corrections are up here at his neck where the infraction was, was down on his behind for standing up and taking forward progress towards the bird or bumper. So I don't always use it. It depends on the dog's personality or their drive or whatever, but I'll show you how we kind of attack it here with Wolfie. Um, typically, what I'm gonna do is use the steady tab to start off with. So we're gonna get the easy lead out of the way for the first round. So first tip that's unseen by everybody else is what I call the old stand on the tail trick, okay? Again, the infraction of breaking is them standing up. So I just gently, remember, gently, I just put a little bit, I mean, not even pressure, it's just there. Because when you're doing this, dogs will like, you know, they'll spin this way, they'll spin that way, they'll stand up. So if you just put a little bit of pressure right there on the tail and a little bit of this action, a little lift up, sit, sit. I'm gonna call for my bird, sit, 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 sit. Wolf. Uh, good boy, Wolfie, here, a boy. So, he, as he's you know seeing that mark come out, he kind of leaned into it a little bit. So my light little tugs, good heel, set. My light little tugs. I'm not maintaining pressure like this. It's just light set, 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 set. Wolf. Okay. So the the foot on the tail trick keeps him from spinning and fully standing up. Once we kind of graduate from that, I'm going to take the foot away. boy, Wolf, come here. Good boy. You can move to the next location. Good. Good boy. Okay. Here. Heel. And set. I'm going to take the foot away, and I'm just going to use the steady tab, right? So heel. Set. Um, I'm not asking him to be steady and pause at this stage and count to like five when the bird hits the ground. As soon as it's... Sometimes it's even just in the air. I'm seeing some progress. I'm going to send them. Um, as they progress, I'm going to wait till it hits the ground, then send them. I'm not going to do this in one session. This is over the course of many, many weeks where we first start off. Give me a big hey, hey, and angle it that way. Big hey, hey, and a boom. Hey, hey, and a boom. Set. Uh, I'm going to go no, ta no tail. Let's see. Set. Set, set, wolf. Very good. Get in there, little man. So I'm moving my gunner's location. I don't want to repeat marks. Um, I want the dog going out. Hey, good boy, okay. I want the dog going out and getting different marks, okay? Um, at this stage, at this age, all the time, right? All right, good boy, wolf, come here. Now, let's do the steady tab, or uh, the, the healing stick, right? You can go to the next location. So the healing stick, I'm going to stand square to the dog, not like this, like this, okay? And my, my stick is going to be upright so that when the infraction of breaking happens, I can come down on it, okay? 
So if you're already down, you're going to cock your hand and come down on it and your timing is going to be a little bit off. So I want to be up and come down on it. Okay. Heel. Set. Okay. So again, I'm not wailing. This is just a little tap a ruski do. Set. Good. Set. 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 Wolf. At a boy, Wolfie. There you go, bud. There you go, buddy. Come on. All right, Chris, so we're going to throw one this way now. Now, as your dog, like we're seeing this advanced work, right? He's doing pretty good with being steady. Come here, at a boy. Let's get the easy lead here. And this will be like a final kind of touch or step where I'm going to attach my lead. Good. Set. And he's going to feel no tugs. Set. Good. So I'm taking the training wheels of the steady tab off. So he's not feeling this and being reminded, set, set, set. Okay, nice. Give me a big hey, hey, boom and throw. Hey, hey, hey. No, 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 here. Set, booyah, okay. So Wolfie was doing fantastic with the tail trick with the steady tab and a little tap on the butt with the healing stick. Now I got a denial, which you saw in the previous video of doing the steadiness with the rope. We take the bumper away. We're gonna do it again. Hey, hey, big hey, hey, pump them up. Hey, 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 hey. Sit. Wolf. Very good. Okay, we're going to do it again. Now, there's a couple, you know, as I'm going, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, right? Let's say we just cannot get this son of a gun to sit still. Wolf's doing a great job. We're making a little bit of progress. We cannot get him to sit still. He is bouncing off the wall. One thing I'll remember to do is tell my bird thrower to give what's called a silent throw. So I want to teach the dog to think. So if they are so excited to retrieve that they aren't thinking straight and I'm just constantly having to do this or constantly having to tap on the butt or constantly getting yanked back like you just saw Wolfie get, I'm gonna say he needs to be a, there's gotta be a black and white, he's got to win here. So I'm gonna say give him a silent throw and I'm gonna say his name and he's gonna get to go. So what you want him to do is go, boy, if I just sit still, I get my retrieve. Then you add in your hey haze again, then you add in your boom again and maintain that kind of steadiness that way. But if I can't gain it with my hey haze and boom guns, I'm gonna tell my bird helper, hey, give me a silent throw on this one. The dog's going to slow down, think through it and get the reward of the retrieve, okay? Big hey hey and a boom and a throw, please. So let's see this one more time with Wolfie. No, no, here, here, there you go. Uh, go ahead and uh, let's throw him another, sit. So that was perfect. Again, if I was doing this with him, he'd probably sit still. So we're starting to see his brain develop. He didn't go, then he stood up, then he went. Here we go. Wolf, booyah, baby. So let's recap this real quick, okay? I've got my tools of the trade, my steady tab, my easy lead, my, my uh, here Wolf, let's go bud. My healing stick, okay. I've got help out in the field throwing, making noise, hey, hey, and getting the dog's attention. But I also have control over the situation in case I need to do a silent throw to create that black and white idea of when I sit still, I get the reward. When I'm not sitting still, I get denied the reward. You're gonna create that steadiness. Uh, another thing that people will start seeing as they steady, to steady up their dog is potentially a little bit of whining and whatnot. You know, they hear that hey, hey out there and the dog go, hmm, hmm, hmm. We wanted to deny that behavior. So breaking is bad. Vocalizing and making whining and all that jazz is bad too. So you take away what they want, which is a retrieve. When they're quiet, when they're steady, when they're calm, they get the retrieve. When I have a dog in training that is constantly whining or vocalizing, I will do way more silent throws to calm them down versus give them what they want, that excitement, okay? 
So I hope you enjoyed that video. Steadiness is not something you crack into in one day or one week. We want to build retrieve drive. We want to uh, have an enthusiastic dog and you don't get that by trying to fix the problem in one session. This is over multiple, multiple sessions and truthfully over the course of their whole life, the more they love it, the better they're going to be. Um, and you know, let's be real. If a dog doesn't break, they don't love it enough. So you're going to constantly be working on this behavior to get them to be cool, calm and collected in the duck blind this duck season.